Yeah. Ah, so what I'm doing, I'm going to sand the wall, making all the joints smooth because uh, there's quite a bit of glue that I use to, uh, yeah, to straighten things out a bit and to fill gaps up a bit. And it, it's not really strictly necessary what I'm doing because eventually there will be several layers of rendering over here. But I am going to wait with the rendering until I've got everything in place. There will be a shower cabin in this part and the shower cabin will have two partial walls. I don't know how high, maybe, maybe up to this height, right? Partial. And that will be built in and then the cupboard where the laundry is going will be built in and then here there will be a vanity which is partially built of these uh, aerated concrete blocks so I was thinking I'll wait oh yeah and the walls need to be rendering too of course so I think I'll wait with the rendering until I can do everything at once and also the joints between this wall my both exterior walls plus the walls from the shower cabin plus the floor in the shower cabin will be tied together with this fiber fiberglass mesh cloth that will be embedded in the first layer of rendering that will provide me with a water leak proof seal and also it will provide strength because it literally ties everything together. Everything will become one tied together. And that will make everything very, very strong. I've been thinking long and hard about strengthening this wall, but that tying in to these walls will, will provide, yeah, that will make this wall structurally really strong. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna sand this wall smooth why not you know you better start from a very solid good proper base you can always screw up later right so let's just do this um, then i'm going to clean the existing walls uh, chip off everything that's loose clean them dust them and prep them for rendering um, on all surfaces I've got to use this primer and this primer prevents the moisture from the render to be sucked in this wall and the other walls because if the moisture is sucked out of the render too quick the render won't cure as it should be. careful eh? because it's really really dusty here uh, can we have to look at the work eh? this is uh, primaire d'accrochage it's called in French it's just a primer it's the same primer as I used on the concrete floor before I uh, leveled it with this leveling cement uh, this one goes unthinned And it basically seals, uh, yeah, the concrete blocks and makes uh, makes it easier for rendering to stick. Okay, with this big roller, I can't reach the edges, and the edges are really whoa, are really important to me because that's where the fiberglass uh, mesh is going to sit to tie this wall to the other wall. So I want. Uh, well, the, fiber, the fiberglass mesh will be embedded in rendering, in the cement rendering. So I really want good adherence there of the cement rendering. So I'll do that with a brush later, the edges. So later this wall will be rendered with um, white cement, white Portland cement. And uh, to that cement I will add a uh, waterproofing additive agent 
that will uh, because the shower stall is going to be here in this corner and obviously that needs to be waterproof another reason to do to add a waterproofing additive to your cement is so that a layer on top of that layer will adhere better because again water moisture isn't sucked up by the old layers so it's going to be at least one layer of uh, cement rendering probably two a scratch coat first which is a bit of a rough coat and then uh, the top coat and then on top of that we will do uh, what's it called micro cement or um, I just forgot the name. Chipping off uh, loose bits of render and stuff, and uh, I went through this wall and uh, I found uh, a cavity. So I think this has been a fireplace, but it's not black. But then that pipe could have been part of the exhaust or something, the chimney. I, I have no idea because it's black in there. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, uh, free space. I'm going to open this all up and uh, we'll have to uh, amend our plans a little bit because all of a sudden we got this cavity. But it's free space, right? It's a bit of a chimney, but it was taken out of out of commission. Because it was all, all cemented up around here. And there's hmm. Yeah, that must have been a chimney. Wow, what to do with that? So um, I've blown this wall completely clean with uh, pressurized air from the compressor. There's no loose bits. I tapped the wall with the hammer. Um, all, all loose bits are gone. And now I'm going to uh, put some Primaire d'accrochage uh, on. This is from Bostec. Um, again, helps with the adherence of, uh, of anything really, rendering. But because part of the wall is brick and, uh, and stone and, and, and the, uh, the grouts are really deep, I can't roll that wall really, right? I'm not going to get uh, good results. So I am using uh, just a pressurized spray, spray gun. Both brands that I've used now, they say put it on with a roller, but I'm just going to be naughty because a roller is just not going to work. And uh, I don't see why it shouldn't be working with a spray gun. But uh, we'll see. Oh, first I've got to find the nozzle. I see I'm missing the nozzle. Spray nozzle.
so the footprint of our bathroom. I'm gonna start with uh, the shower because that's basically well a very important part. So the shower panel standard size is 90 centimeter wide and it's gonna go like this. So 90 centimeter would come to here. This is 90 centimeter by 120 long alongside this wall. Yeah, so this is the idea, very uh, roughly drawn up. So in the corner here, we have the walk-in shower, which is, uh, it's all one level. I'm going to, well, either, either I got to raise the level of only the shower floor, or I got to raise the level of the entire bathroom floor, because the drain of the shower needs to go underneath here over the concrete floor that you see right now. So we decide to raise the whole bathroom floor because then everything inside the bathroom is at one level. It's just a walk-in shower, an open uh, walk-in shower. This wall here is uh, a dividing wall between shower and two cabinets. The first one being uh, large enough for the laundry machine and the dryer on top and then the other cabinet for linen and uh, ironing board and that sort of stuff. I've just do a, did a dotted line, so to indicate that that part can be used for laundry, but where there will be a dividing wall, I don't know yet. And then this part of this dividing wall between the shower and the cabinet will be f probably, yeah, full height. And then this one that is sticking out a little bit further forward, that is going to be partial height. Oh, there's some, uh, some chicken fornicating going on outside the bathroom right now. Unbelievable, these guys, no manners. And then straight across from uh, the shower, I'm standing in the shower now, will be the toilet. It will be there. And next to the toilet will be the vanity sink with a mirror, etc. And then uh, this this dividing wall will be yeah a little bit yeah like mid height, right? Doesn't have to be full height, uh, but a little bit privacy for the person sitting on the toilet. And then uh, yeah, a vanity. Well, and and that's that's it. So. My dimensions, and I'm giving the dimensions in centimeters, is for the shower, it is 120 centimeter deep and 90 centimeter wide. Then I have the same width for the toilet uh, compartment, so, so to speak, that is 90 centimeters wide. It's, uh, it, it add, yeah, it's sufficient, even for someone with a, <coughs> lights behind and then the passage through that shower that dividing wall 
from the shower and the vanity is 70 centimeters which is sufficient not not huge but sufficient yeah and then uh, and then here you walk into uh, the hallway uh, where we're going to build a hallway i'll explain about that later but this is sort of the layout nadia wanted in her design she made a, a, a sort of a fancy corner in in the shower but I'm afraid that if we put that fancy corner in, then this wall will be too short and water will splash out of the shower. I think we really need that 120 centimeter wall. Yeah, so initially I was thinking about uh, having a, a wall built here also to reinforce this wall, but that's not going to happen. 90 yeah no yeah yeah i could build a 20 centimeter wall and then you have a 70 centimeter opening into the shower i'm not sure whether that's enough 70. yeah i need to decide on that one later i don't even i don't for the structure of this wall i don't need it no pretty sure yeah so uh hmm i'm i'm gonna take my time and I'm going to be walking around in here and I'm going to get a better feel and uh, maybe make some adjustments or maybe not. We'll see. Anyway, I've got an idea of roughly what it will feel like in this bathroom. Oh yeah, and then the, uh, the recess that, uh, that we discovered today I can't really utilize the recess but I will utilize it to keep the plumbing and electricity. So an outside garden tap will go through that wall. There will be the tap for the laundry machine. There will be the uh, exhaust uh, of the laundry machine, the water coming out the pipe. So that's, that's gonna be part of a utility that can stand all there. And that also gives me a little bit of space because I can make a tight squeeze with the laundry machine. I don't need space behind the laundry machine, which you normally need for your supplies, right? Yeah, so it will be utilized, but it will be more of a uh, yeah, plumbing area. Yeah, so yeah, interesting. I'm gonna make a few photos and send them to Nadia, see what she, uh, what she thinks. So, and that was it uh, for this time. Uh, Tony, thank you, thank you very much. And guys, if you want to help the channel a little bit, see the link below. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, for liking, for commenting. And next time we are going to, yeah, well, tidy a little bit more up here. I still need to uh, uh, level the floor where that cavity is now ex appeared. And I need to close up the chimney there and a little bit of detailing here around the, uh, the door frame and uh, yeah and then uh, this i have to go up and i have to start with those uh, conduit channels <sighs> don't really like it but it needs to be done anyway see you next time bye now